Son of God, Son of Creation. Today we remember the exceptional life of a prophet named Jesus, the blessing he taught us to respect our neighbors, respect God's harmony. In these lands today we live in a tenuous peace, irreverently unstable to the whims of our consumption and exploitation of the world around us. The lessons we are learning each day reflect the seriousness of our impact in the world. Our ancestors since the time of our meeting at Treaty have warned us that we needed to find a better understanding of this land and what it means for our survival. Yet we continue to turn away from the lessons all around us. The weather, the natural disasters, the dwindling resources. In this acknowledgement of land, we know that we are the dependent ones, that it will take generations to undo what a few short lifetimes have wrought. Our children lament this cost. They lament at the challenge set before them that they will have to endure long after we are gone. Son of God, give us strength, give us resolve, give us wisdom to know that in your lifetime you exemplified how we must now follow, to bring peace to the world, peace among brothers, peace among sisters, peace among relatives, no matter their gender identity or orientation. It is in this understanding that we will find wholeness. It is by connecting again as family that we will grow into our humanity. Be kind, be safe, be well. Listen to the world around us. It is calling us out and we have work to do. Amen. <laughs>